Hey, what's up guys? I'm Marcus with Epic Life Gaming. Thank you guys for coming back for another video. Today's video is going to be the new little addition that Supercell added to Clash of Clans, which upgrades um, quicker training times for barbarians and dragons. So they, they train five times quicker than what they normally would. So that makes the dragons train at six minutes and the barbarians train at five seconds. That is awesome. So basically you can have a full army composition of barbarians in about like a minute or so. So that is really quick if you just want to do barbarians. So what I want to do is just, you know, use them. Do a barbarian and dragon attack strategy um, on, you know, this video. I was going to do my, uh, how I got my barbarian king. As you guys can see, I finally got him. But that will be coming out probably tomorrow. Wanted to get this out for you guys in case you wanted to do a barbarian and dragon attack. Um, I just want to show you my strategy of doing it. So what I'm going to do is try to lure out the clan castle troops. Because even though dragons can take out the clan castle troops, they're basically my whole heart of this attack strategy. They're going to be what you need to take out um the base so I do not want to waste my dragons with uh, taking out clan castle troops I want them to be used for just strictly taking out the base so I go ahead and drop the uh, you know the uh, raid spells on them I probably dropped them a little bit too early they probably could have uh, lasted taking out uh, the air defense especially because they were on the outside this is the kind of base you're going to want to find though is air defenses that are e easily able to be taken out or they're going to be upgraded. Those are the two kind of air, uh, bases you're going to want to find. Once you find those kind of bases, go ahead and attack them. Make sure the base isn't too tough. If you're a Town Hall 8, you know, attack around your range. If you're a Town Hall 7, you know, attack around your range. I'm a Town Hall 7, so I'm going to be attacking Town Hall 7s just to make sure that I uh, three-star these bases or at least grab all the loot. Training dragons is very expensive, so you're going to definitely want to find enough elixir to pay you back and actually make maybe a little bit of profit. I'm not really worried about it since my elixir is completely maxed out for this base. I don't have to worry about it, so that's why you might find me, you know, in any of my videos right now attacking bases with basically no elixir, even though I have a very expensive army composition. And right there was the very first time I dropped down my barb Barbarian King and his first target attacked is a wall of course that, that there's nothing else you'd rather attack right he's gonna be attacking those you know for a long time so might as well get used to it so this is another base that I'm going to attack as you guys can see that air defense on the bottom left hand side is uh, under construction so I don't have to worry about um, that air defense I just have to worry about this one at the top so what I'm gonna do is make sure there is no clan castle troops so I'm gonna need to take out all these buildings out here so my barbarians will go after the wall to check to see if there is any clan castle troops so make sure you don't waste too many I probably dropped down you know a little bit too many on the, you know on the to take out these buildings but that's okay I still have about 30 left um, so there we go drop them down and look there is clan castle troops like I said dragons can take out the uh, clan castle troops but you don't want them to waste their um, health taking out clan castle troops now the barbarians if I would have known that it wouldn't have been an issue uh, obviously the barbarians can't even attack the dragons but I wanted to take them out anyways um, I just didn't want my dragons to get focus on them just in case um, I definitely want them to focus on uh, you know the the base itself but uh, when I had dropped them down to help take out the barbarians just real quick and I dropped most of my dragons right there and pretty much I could have saved my other two dragons if I wanted to I'm pretty sure I have this base already wrapped up with two more rage spells and uh, these five dragons should be able to three star this entire base but you know what I'm having some fun they only take six minutes to train so why not drop the rest of them down I still have two rage spells so if I really need it you know I could have used those but you know might as well drop a rage spell down too why not I have elixir for days 
Um, I don't have to worry about upgrading anything, so that is why I'm doing that. I wouldn't suggest anybody else to do it unless you're in the same position as me. So uh, as you guys can see, there's only a few de defenses left, and uh, two of them are even being upgraded. So not too much left to take out my dragons. I still have six dragons left. And uh, so I only lost one dragon out of this entire, you know, attack. So that's pretty good. So that shows you what, you know, just one air defense under construction, how much that can help you in a dragon attack. Well, there's another dragon that just went down to an air bomb. That sucks. Oh, well. But that shows you how much uh, easier a base can be with just one you know, defense under construction, especially in air defense. So you definitely want to look out for that, or even if they're on the outside, that's even better. So there we go. Three-starred that base, 229,000 gold. Perfect. All right. So this base, I didn't realize it at the time. I should have never even tried to attack. It looks like his air defenses are easily taken out, but if you look that the way that he has his wall set up, it's very difficult to get the air defense the way that he has it. Um, you actually, I I should have known, but I was just, you know, wanting to get this video out. Everybody got their video out yesterday. Wasn't able to because I already put a video out and then I had to go to work. Kind of sucked. Um, so I just want to hurry up and get this attack in. But I should have definitely passed this you know, attack up. As you're going to see, um, the dragons are not going to want to go after that air defense. They're going to like, it's like a circle around that air defense. So this base is very well designed. The clan castle is directly in the middle, so it's hard to even pull out his clan castle troops if he had any. Um, but as you can see, I'm going to drop all my dragons down right there, and they're already circling around um, the air defense. One dragon goes after it, but uh, he already had too much health taken out. But look at that. It's like a repellent around the air defense. Um, they're going to completely go around the air defense. And this sucks. And I'm already down to three dragons. Um, and none of the air defenses are taken out. Um, I get that one taken out up there. But I still have that other one to worry about. And all these buildings still to worry about. I'm only at 54%. So I still have a little bit more. Or still a bit left than half, less than half of the base still to go. Oh, man. What a epic fail. So, you know what? I, I tried to help him out, but it's probably a little bit too late. If I had to drop these down a little bit sooner, maybe I could have taken out uh, the rest of the base. But maybe not. We never know. We'll never know now because all my dragons are now gone. But I decided to drop down my Barbarian King anyways to smack out a couple of these buildings and uh, see what he can do. And there's still plenty of elixir and uh, these uh, elixir collectors. So I'm going to go ahead and I might as well grab those anyways. Even though I don't need it, you know, I can maybe use it for an army composition if I want to do like, you know, 12 more of these all dragon raids. I'm definitely going to need some more elixir. So go ahead, drop them all down, and there we go. We're going to have to sadly only get a two-star unless this barbarian goes Hulk on this base and decides to three-star himself, but doesn't look like that's going to happen. So there it is, you guys. Go ahead, start training your dragons and barbarians. Get that going. Hopefully you guys have fun raiding. It's a good strategy. Um, dragons are always good, and barbarians always help out. They're cheap, and they're only five seconds to build. So go ahead. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Thank you guys for all the support you've been giving me. If you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You're going to get daily videos, fun content, and you get to hang out with me. Thank you guys for everything you're doing for this channel. Hope you have a great day, and don't forget to stay beautiful.